Hello Drone Racers, I'm Mark and today on Drone Racer World 1 we're going to take a look at three options for carrying this. This is the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom. These cases will all also work for the Pro because it fits pretty much exactly the same way. I think this might have come with a bag or something, but I immediately knew I wasn't gonna be using it. I needed a case. Okay, I'm gonna do something I don't normally do because it's really time sensitive. There's links down below for these cases and the Mavic 2, and right now there is a sale going on for the Mavic 2 Zoom and Pro that's just ridiculous. You can get a Mavic Pro Zoom for $999, and the Pro I think is $1299. It requires a code, it's a very limited offer, so if you're seeing this months later, it's way, way too late. But if that deal is still available, I'll link it down below for as long as I know you can get it, and that way you can take advantage of it right now, because that's crazy cheap compared to what I paid for it. If you're thinking about getting a Mavic 2, go do that right now. Go check it right now, check down in the description, and I'll wait here. Okay, now on to looking at what kind of case to put your Mavic 2 in. I'm gonna go through all three of them and show you what fits and what doesn't fit with the drone and the Fly More kit, because any of the three of these might be viable for you depending on your specific needs. And I'll also show you which one I decided I'm gonna be using on a regular basis. First up, we have the bag that comes with the DJI Mavic 2 Fly More kit. And I'm gonna say this is either free or like $120 or $80 or something stupid, some stupid amount of money, it's free. You don't buy the Fly More kit because of this bag. I did an unboxing of the Fly More kit that you can see up here if you haven't seen it yet. Went through everything that it comes with, totaled it out, and determined, surprisingly for me, that it actually is worth the value. It's $370-ish right now, but everything that you get for it ends up totally being worth it. And part of that is this bag. When I did that review, I didn't think everything was gonna fit in here, but I was really surprised. Here, I'm not gonna film that again. Just take a look right this. There is just enough room in this bag for everything. So let's see, if I put my battery, say I got them charged. So I've got my batteries back in. If I pop this down, see, I can fit the car charger in there. So that's okay, I guess. There is room. Yep, plenty of room in there for the regular charger. So if I'm going and I'm traveling, I can't take the sequential charger with me. There's plenty of room in there because this top fits up here. The top is tall. I can fit the sequential charger in there. So I now have both the chargers and the sequential charger and I can throw the USB part in there. There, and my Mavic's in there. And I have two extra set of props. And I still have space up here to store some more of something. And then I've still got the external pockets in order to store more stuff. Okay, that actually works out a lot better than I thought. So for me, when I'm putting this all together, the Fly More kit is the most important thing because it comes with accessories that you need. Mainly, extra batteries and the multi-charger are outstanding, and then more props that you're gonna need, and everything is really, put it all together, and it's a really handy kit. And this bag turned out far, far better than I expected. I thought it was gonna be worthless. And one part of it that really impressed me was it's a leather bag, and it seems like it should be pretty soft, but, I mean, it's, it's solid and there's nothing in here right now. See, that is totally empty. And if you zip this up, even though it's just fabric and some cardboard inside, probably plastic sheets or something, but it is really, really solid. They put that piece right down the middle and it makes it really, really nice. I was just really surprised by how sturdy this bag was. I didn't expect it to help protect the drone hardly at all. It also comes with the nicest shoulder strap because it says Mavic 2. I might just use this for some of the others. It's not a lot of extra padding, but it says Mavic 2, so that's kind of nice. Now, there wouldn't be any confusing it if I end up using this as my permanent case, but personally, I'm not likely to do that. Because here is our second option, and this is a case, I picked this one up on Amazon, I've got links for it down below. There's gonna be a whole bunch of these available over time. I know multiple vendors have them now, so I'm gonna show you how everything fits in here. So for this case specifically, everything fits in nicely, although it may be a little loose. There's room for three batteries. I actually carry the two batteries. I have three for the one that comes with it and the two from the Fly More kit. The other location I use for the power cord for the charger and then the USB cords that I may need for one thing or another. The remote fits in here. It is a little bit loose. The slot over here I'm using for the charger and then I am able to fit the extra multi-charger in here. Up in the top I have room for extra props and then I have the USB adapter to charge off the batteries if I need to. Everything fits in here, it seals. It's zipped up, handy and ready to go. It's a nice sturdy case, it's square so it feels like it's protecting everything. It has a nice handle. 
The one downside of this one specifically is it doesn't have a shoulder strap connection. If I was hiking up the mountain and I was taking my drone with me, this wouldn't be the one I would take because of that. I'm not usually doing that, I'm just carrying around. I like the size of this because I can throw it in my luggage and my wife won't complain that I'm taking up too much space when we're going on vacation. The third option though is significantly bigger. It's hard to get a really good sense of how much bigger it is, but you can see it's longer there. It's also taller, meaning it's thicker here this direction, and then it's also wider. It's really bigger in every way. Now there's a couple reasons for that. The foam that you get inside this one is really, really stiff. This is super strong. This provides the best protection. Let me show you how everything fits in here. So look how much room you've got in here. One, the drone doesn't move at all. It is form fitted. It is really nice and custom fit for this. The remote, the one difference here with this one, if you want to leave the gimbals on, you can do that. I've got the gimbals off because it makes it a little smaller in the other packages. But here, if you want to leave the gimbals on, you can do that. And that's a big deal for a lot of people. I have two batteries stored. There's room for two more and then extra storage. A lot of people will keep props there. I've got the cables and stuff tucked in here, this other square area. There's a specific pocket for the USB charger. This plugs into the batteries and you can charge USB on there. There's a specific pocket just for that. I've got the charger itself here. And then underneath, there's a specific pocket just for the multi-charger. I actually had this in backwards. There's even a little cutout for the charging cable. This was really, really well designed. Then you've even got room in this one for the DC charger, so which I don't carry, I don't have in my bag, but you've got plenty of room if you want there. This will fit in here and you can carry absolutely everything. There's actually a zipper pocket in here to make sure that is good and sealed and you don't lose anything there. We have a nice handle. It's a rubber handle. It's pretty smooth, but it's not round like the other one. I might prefer the handle on the other one a little better. And then we do have a shoulder strap for this. It's quite a bit heavier, but if you're a professional, this is definitely the one that I would pick. You can take lots of batteries. This is going to keep it the safest. If I was traveling around and taking it with me all the time, this is the one I would do. But I am not a professional. I am just a dude in his basement with a Mavic. Because of that, I would choose this one because it fits everything that I need on a regular basis, on a daily basis, or on a traveling basis. I don't need five batteries. I do want the multi-charger. The radio fits in. I don't mind taking off the gimbals. I do like that I have Velcro up here to hold everything in place. I don't mind that I don't have a shoulder strap, but that's for me personally. For what I do, this one works out best simply because of the size. I like the handle that it has, the nice round handle. I don't mind that it doesn't have shoulder straps. That's not a big deal for me. Now, what could make this better? Well, that would be if this company, which is Dacket, would make one of this quality, but this size. Like cut off here, make it that size and fit in with this same high quality. That would definitely be the pick for me. This one is about $10 cheaper than this one right now. It's close enough that that wouldn't be the deciding factor for me. It's about convenience and what works out well. So until they start making one this size, this is my pick. But once Dacket makes one this size, I might replace it just because I do like how sturdy this is by comparison. I'm willing to go a little bigger, just not quite that big. But if you found this useful, leave a like in the comment down below. Let me know which of these three is your pick. DJI, small third party, big third party. Simply because of the way the Mavic is laid out, this is still smaller than a Phantom case by a lot. But until next time, remember, no matter which of these cases you pick, the Mavic 2 Zoom is freaking outstanding. I absolutely love it.